so I sent my GoPro Hero 10 to a shop to help me decase and I forgot to install GoPro Labs so now it's back and I'm stuck because when I plug it in it comes out with a not enough power error message and at that time I was using a 4S so I thought maybe a 6S would work but there's still no luck something about the GoPro verifying settings versus the amount of power the back provides to the GoPro is mismatched now when I switch to YouTube the advice is to install GoPro Labs and add the trust USB function and make this problem go away but I ran through the process and it's this update error and I believe it's because the GoPro assumes that it's on low power so it cannot perform the update as well so the simplest solution is you need to provide a recognizable power so that it installs GoPro Labs and you can access trust USB and now I'll walk you through the process step by step so I grab my egg-shaped container containing my precision screws and I grab the T5 screw head and at the back of the Gap RC naked GoPro case I loosen all of the screws and I remove the back case to the side and before removing I will uh, remove the ribbon cable I would push the black pins down releasing the ribbon cable and I unscrew the screw that's holding the back and because the bottom of the back has double-sided tape I'll just wiggle and gently remove it so this will reveal the plug that I need so I'll take the battery bay from the full-size unit as well as a GoPro battery ready on the side and I plug that in to this receiver here it should secure with a click and then making some room I'll move the back into position push in the ribbon cable and then I'll push in the black tab and now that that side is ready I need to ready up my micro SD card so I plug into my laptop I just search GoPro Labs on Google and I click in and for my case is the GoPro Hero 10. So I extract the zip file and it reveals a folder called update. So I copy this update file into the main folder of the SD card. Once it's done, I'll take my micro SD and put it into the GoPro. So now I can insert the battery into the battery bay and I can use the back to control by switching it on and automatically on boot, the item will install. So now that the GoPro is updated, you'll need to take out your phone and install this app from the App Store or Google Play Store, QR Control. Make sure it's by the GoPro company. So inside the app, you should look for the Extras tab. And then there's a drop down menu over here. If you click in and scroll all the way, look for TUSB short for trust usb and over here you want to check the permanent tick and with this qr ready you should turn on your gopro and face the lens towards your phone to scan the qr and trust usb is now applied on another note if you haven't synced the gopro to the quick app the gopro needs to be in pairing mode so we can also activate a pairing mode within this app with a qr code so within the same page in the drop down menu, you want to scroll all the way down to exclamation mark PA, short for pairing. And you can scan that QR code with your GoPro and it'll go into pairing mode. And within the quick app, you should be able to pair with your GoPro, no problems there. And now you've done that, you can uh, remove the battery bay from the naked GoPro. I would advise not to use anything metallic. Instead, try to find a plastic tab like this. Now you could install your back with the screw, put the fan in the back case and screw all of it in properly. So this is me doing a test recording to show that it works and all is good. Thanks for watching.